Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho, ay Pancho. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to her and or bully anyone. It's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. Weenie Hut Jr. discretion is advised. Imagine when he starts mimicking that laugh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. I didn't want to show you guys. I could actually take him out. This is safe. He is fully kind of trained with me. All the way up, boo. Look at the food. I promise you, if you poop on me, don't poop on me, though. You won't do it, huh? Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy, Francisco, back at it again with another banger of a video. If you're new to this channel and you end up subscribing, welcome aboard to the Panchita Familia. First and foremost, I usually don't have a little parrot with me. This is the first time this parrot is in this video in the garage with me. But I do want him to learn how to speak, so that's why I do have him with me. That way he can learn to say zavang, 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 zavang. But let's go ahead and get started with this week's Freak of the Week. And it goes to... Poncho, I haven't even brushed my teeth yet, yaki ando. In the middle of a pandemic, and we in the middle of chaos. People, violence only increased. The now, the first thing that we're actually going to get into, did you guys see with Miss Yoshi Yoatsi? If you guys didn't see her ex-boyfriend, if you guys don't know who her ex-boyfriend is, Jessether recently is about to get out of juvie. To my knowledge, I don't think he's out of juvie yet. I really like talking about it, but if you know what it is, and you know what it is, if you don't, it's just a really bad, um, very traumatizing thing that happened to me and my son. And the person that caused this trauma for me and my son has been in jail for the last couple months. And I believe the case is finally gonna come to a close in a few days. A very few days, it's finally gonna happen. But I'm just like, dude, it took so long. And I just constantly hate being reminded of this individual. I try to not think about him because he like stresses me out. Just anything that has to do with him stresses me out. To tell you that, I don't even like saying his name. That's how like traumatized I am by him. But um, I think it's finally gonna come to a close and I just am hoping that it comes to a close because then I'll finally be able to like close that chapter and like move on. Um, I still don't know if I wanna talk about it on social media. Part of me wants to just so you guys can see what happened and like, why so many things happened but then at the same time i don't just because any time that i want to like talk about this topic to educate or to just to bring awareness the trolls come on here and they're like oh my god like she misses him why can't she stop talking about him and i'm like Bitch, i'm just trying to bring awareness to a situation but because of that i feel like i probably won't talk about it and all that oh my god that's like stressing me out and then i just need to make sure that everything with family court is like in check so that when that individual tries to come out, jail, I still have full custody of my son. And then it says here on the 3rd of November, he will be scheduled for a release. And he posted this on his Instagram story yesterday. Guess who's back? Why is the sun shining bright like a diamond in the stars? Now, basically, I think he's coming out of juvie. Maybe he got like a little iPad or a trap phone in jail and he tweeted and he posted this. But to my knowledge, he's uh, having a court day soon and he is going to be released soon is what I'm understanding. But what do you guys think of this whole situation with Miss Jesse and Yowatsi? I did see a lot of people saying that Miss Yowatsi keeps talking about him, yada, yada, yada. But I mean, to my knowledge, I, I think there's something called trauma. <laughs> and I'm not trying to, you know, I don't know what she went through. We don't know. We weren't there when Jesse was there. I did reach out to jesse though for an interview as well because we never really 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 got jesse's side of the story all we know is yawatsi's because he's been in juvie this whole time so i reached out to him i said things are different here no disrespect nothing let's just talk you feel me one-on-one -on -one civil persons emphasize on the civil <laughs> but what do you guys think of the situation make sure to comment down below did you guys see with miss shyla labov and miss salty if you guys didn't see miss shyla finally gave a little bit more details she ended the friendship with salty and she had this to say my the tattoo i want and it was cute and a close friend at the time got it also i washed my hands as an insane amount and it's halfway gone i am not friends with that person any longer and don't wish to have anything reminiscent no regrets though i want more tattoos i love art i love the expression of tattoos can be it's also cool to evolve and want slash not want things you once did now if you zoom in right there you can see the flaming hot cheeto tattoo right there and if you go on over to salty's hand that is her right there give it one second boom so they had both the matching tattoos and if you guys don't remember YB and Namir. He actually gave some more details as to why they stopped being friends. Now you see why I separated myself. Salt's whole life is fake from the
speak to the realism. She plays victim every time she's in the wrong. And when nothing is said, it's just whatever. Shiloh, we're too. Everything was good with me and her until she made it seem like she needed a new single friend because she was single. At the end of the day, the beep Alicia fell for it and look at her now, normal. Just a normal Instagram brrr, with nothing going on. It's just the way it is. Basically, uh, Miss Shyla revealed that she's going to get the hot Cheeto tattoo removed, Saltiza to get the tattoo removed. But if you guys didn't see as well, YBN Namir also gave me some details. But now I posted it because Shyla posted it and he gave more details why they weren't friends. And for the world, maybe we'll bring him out only on the world news. I'll put him on my hands. That way if he poops, he doesn't poop that much. But for the world news, did you guys see in California, they're actually going to be having some sort of hurricane. So hopefully it doesn't do too much damage. My So if you are in California, please be careful. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap the video here for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to smack a like and make sure to subscribe. Subscribe so you can help feed this boy. <laughs> yeah, feed me because he eats a lot. He's going to be eating a lot. Follow my social medias and I really do appreciate you guys. One second, my, my song is going to Apaga el juego, mierda. Ese es el chico. ¿Qué dice el tipo este que yo no entiendo? Yes, sir. Hello, my name is Adam Copeland here at PNC Bank, and I want to Cucha, let you Marie. know that your account is in negative ten thousand seven hundred and seventy-three dollars. How would like to pay that today? Que, que, que te gana, uh, uh, que. Que, 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 que tú vas a la escuela para qué, bro? Ganaste ten mil dollars. I won a ten thousand dollars, bro. No, 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 negative. Que, que. Yo, yo, yo no sé. Yo, tú nunca sabes ni mierda. Apaga el juego.